Welcome back to another edition of Plug In with Avi and Kyle. We are Avi and Kyle, Internet's odd couple, who are your best source for everything that is anything tech news and product reviews. Coming to you for the 14th time, 1-4, with our visual radio show. That's the new year. First. Still filming in Orange County. <laughs> still. In Mission Viejo at the Awesome OC Digital Studio. Yes. Uh, make sure you check us out on the the web at iTunes or YouTube by simply searching for Plug In with Avi and Kyle or on our website, pluginpod.tv. Avi was right. We argued about it a few weeks ago, and he was absolutely right. I feel stupid. I am 99.9% right. <laughs> <you can> ask. <laughs> uh, and to find out more about OC Digital Studio and how they can help bring your ideas to life, you can check them out at ocdigitalstudio.com. Yes, sir. All right, well, I well, hope... Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New, happy New Year, Year to our guests, too. Yeah, and yep. I hope, uh, Avi, I know you guys did, but I hope that all of our our watchers and viewers had a happy and safe holiday season. Yes. But it's over. <laughs> She's done. Yes, That's time the end for of the it. resolutions time and Time to get your goal. ass in gear, right? <laughs> it's time to, to live up to that week and a half resolution you yeah. just made. That's it. You know, uh, gym membership actually goes up higher in January or February. Oh, yeah. In fees, huh. and it's no place to work out, but come uh, March, April, mm -hmm. you can run the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The show there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're like the old dog there. Yeah. <laughs> so we have two awesome guests this week. We have our first guest is going to be Mr. Michael Mooney, co founder and director of science and education for Super Nutrition. Yes. Then our second guest today is a re reoccurring guest. He's coming back finally to visit with us. Dr. David Friedman. He's going to be back in the studio, this time in studio. In studio, not Last in time he was, uh, we were having some Skype. trouble, but he was on Skype. It looked, <laughs> it looked okay to me, but we had some behind the scenes stuff. Um, so he's going to be physically in the studio. He's going to show us his machine. Yeah. We're going to get into that with him. That's great. All right. So what do we got in tech news today, Avi? In tech news, a uh, couple things, actually. We, uh, this morning I watched how you the, with a new iPhone, you need your fingerprint to unlock it or even do a transaction with Apple Pay. Uh -huh. But guess what? If you have a photo, it doesn't have to be high definition with your fingers or your hands on. They can replicate your fingerprints, and they can hack the phone. So watch out when you do videos. Don't go yeah, yeah. <laughs> with hey. your fives. Uh, you know, hey. Yeah, no ups. jazz hands. No, 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 no. no fists. Yes, only. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, a German uh, uh, representative, government representative, she was uh, giving a speech, and she yeah. went like that. And the guy took the picture from wherever, and he hacked her oh, fingerprint. Geez. Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> In world news, we're going to get into some holiday traveling horrors that happen. Yep. And we're going to talk about the movie, The Interview. Yes. Did you watch it? I did, but oh, okay. we're going to get into that later because <laughs> we have a guest sitting in our studio right now. Yep. Mr. Michael Mooney, welcome to the show. It's nice to be here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so why don't you uh, fill us a little bit, give us a little bit about your background and, and, and how you ended up with these products. And well, Super Nutrition was co-founded by my father and I 37 years ago. Wow. So we've been actually innovating for a long time, mm -hmm. and we have a new product called mm -hmm. Heart Smart that is uh, the first of its kind, never been done before, the combination of nutrients that really, really help support cardiovascular health and, and bone health too. Mm. Where are you located, or where you said you started it with your dad? Is it in South Cal uh, Southern California? It's Oakland, California. Oh, okay, right Oakland. across from San oh. Francisco. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, yeah. all right. And uh, how did you stumble to, or with your dad, to nutrition and uh, doing vitamins? Well, it, it's a. I'll make a long story short. <laughs> I had health problems as a kid. Okay. And when I was fourteen, I went in the mental hospital, and there were all the, all kinds of stuff. And I told them what they wanted to hear, so they'd let me out because they mm -hmm. wanted to do shock treatments and crazy stuff. Oh. And you know, was, I knew I knew it was all <laughs> yeah. wrong. Yeah. And I, I happen to have a you know gift blessing talent. I find information very well, mm -hmm. and I found the information about a nutrient that I started taking. Mm -hmm. um, one of the founding fathers of nutrition was a sort of the, the expert on this, mm -hmm. and I read his material. And I thought, I'll, st I'll try this. And it changed my entire life. And my biochemist father, when I got him to try it, he, he felt tremendously different mm -hmm. and smarter. 
Oh. And studies came out later. Smarter than, than a biochemist. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, my, my dad was a Renaissance man that yeah. went to 22 different universities while he was oh, wow. while yeah. I was growing up because he liked to go to school. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that made him feel even smarter than the guy well, he already was. He, he found out he could remember longer strings of wow. numbers when he did mathematical <laughs> equations. You know, 15 uh, numbers instead of yeah. seven when he took this nutrient. Yeah. And so it got us to looking at, uh -huh. you know, vitamins and and health. And the whole picture, you know, from health foods to um, vitamins in, in uh, ev just everywhere. So mm -hmm. do you go yeah. to the GNA and GNC stores and you go there and there's miles and miles and shelves of all kind of uh, uh, vitamins. How do you know which one? And everybody claims uh, super and duper. How do you distinguish between them and what's the... One thing that a person like us can look at and say, "Oh, okay, this is uh, will work or not." Well, because there's a lot of bogus claims. It's more like Whole Foods market for us. Yeah, but one of the things that's the most important is not to have a bunch of artificial colorings and ingredients yeah. in, in yeah. formulas. To have pure nutrients, and then the number one consideration is people say this nutrient or that nutrient's better is potency. Uh -huh. You actually want to have. Potency. Mm -hmm. you know, our our, our one-a-day vitamins are 23 mm -hmm. times stronger mm -hmm. for the B vitamins, and yeah. you actually so that's why you feel them. Yeah. Then you know the leading brand mm -hmm. everybody knows. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a matter of looking for yeah. potency. You want to have, you know, our, we have 2,000 units of vitamin D. Wow. Okay. In in the and and that's totally considered to be safe. The United States government says at least 4,000 is totally safe. Mm -hmm. And that's just in our daily for men and women. Uh -huh. When you get to be 50, our dailies have 3,000. Okay. And I would put more, but people are, you know, yeah. timid about it. Yeah, yeah. Their can you are not sure, you know. Can you get over the limit? Because some uh, stuff, you take too much of it, uh, it affects your, uh, your health or they yeah. say... Like a couple of the vitamins, it's they found that you cannot take too much vitamin C, for example. Well, with vitamin D, mm -hmm. the Institute of Medicine says that 4,000 a day is totally safe. Mm -hmm. But they've been criticized by all the top vitamin D scientists. That four of them published a review of all the vitamin D studies and showed that 10,000 units a day was safe for, quote, Mm -hmm. Almost all adults, uh -huh. and oh. that means you know people with kidney problems. There's a few rare, rare people mm -hmm. yeah. who yeah. shouldn't take that much, but mm -hmm. um, you know I've done blood tests with my doctor, and I always tell people do a before blood test before you start vitamin D, yes. mm -hmm. and, and then, then find it, find a level. And the the while the Institute of Medicine says that four thousand is safe, mm -hmm. yeah. the world authorities say that all adults should take 5,000 units a day. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And and when you do blood tests and you look for the blood levels, mm -hmm. um, doctors will say 30 is fine. Yeah. But the world authorities say 40 to 60 is mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. And so I've done blood tests with my doctor multiple times over a couple-year period. Mm -hmm. And I found out that I need to take 8,500 a day. Wow. wow. <laughs> and it's safe. It's safe. Yeah, yeah. That's the main thing is mm -hmm. my doctors, you're, you're perfectly safe. Mm -hmm. And my blood level is 60, mm -hmm. which they say is where you really start to have immune strength mm -hmm. and your bones are going to be, you know, mm -hmm. better. Yeah. And your immune system is mm -hmm. going to be stronger. Oh. And so, you know, I, 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 I've done stronger bones. The, that's important. Oh yeah. So, well, immune system too, long yeah. term. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't ever get sick. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to get, <laughs> I have colds and flus and mm -hmm. all those kind of things, you know, and yeah. immune strength is important. Yeah. So normal diet uh, that we, American diet, doesn't have uh, any of these supplements or very little of the supplements. Very little, you... yeah, very little. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I think that um, we got a special treat for our guests. I have a two-by-four over here. We're going to break it over his back. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> No, no. Um, we stand, we stand it. Yeah, yeah. No, I was reading on the site. I wanted to get into some things because we're going to run out of time. Um, 
So some things I read on on the the, the website supernutrition.com, correct? Mm-hmm. Is that supernutrition USA. 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 Com. 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 There you go. Yeah. Supernutritionusa.com is that um, it said on there like people were asking if the children's vitamins you have are chewable, and the answer was n- you can chew them, but they're going to taste gross because to make it chewable you have to add it additives and sugar. Oh, you can only and put color. a little... Vitamins yeah. taste terrible. You only mm-hmm. put a little bit in and, mm-hmm. and then a bunch of sugar. Yeah, and and, uh, and we, you we, want to avoid that. Yeah, yeah, we won't do that. No. And that's a... I, I like that approach it's, to it. Yeah, it seems like... You know, because my daughter takes gummy vitamins, but I know... <laughs> sure. Well, you can't put... Those vitamins you can't even put in gummies because they taste so bad. Yeah, you, yeah. You can't even put a smidge in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, so I like that. And then there are some other questions people had, like, why are the pills so big? And you've already answered that because they're so potent. You put so they're much so in potent. there to make sure that you I'll absorb. tell you, the easiest way to swallow them uh-huh. is your brain doesn't dilate the spherinix mm-hmm. you know, when you swallow water in a tablet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you swallow food, you put the vitamin in, mix it up with some food. Uh-huh. You, we swallow bigger pieces of carrots than yeah, vitamins. Yeah. Yeah. But I just swallow it with bubbly water, mm-hmm. and the bubbles trick the brain into opening up oh. your pharynx. Yeah, and so it's easy to swallow even big tablets, and kids Why can can't swallow. Why can't you do it like a smaller one and take two of them? Well, the the problem is is that most people don't oh, okay. won't take two a day. Yeah, okay. They want a one a day. Yeah, right. that's true. <laughs> one a day. That's very yeah. true because you know there's a lot of supplements that uh, you can take that you know give you this or or give you that yeah. little extra things that you needed, but. You have to remember, like, oh, I took it in the morning, but now I got to take it at lunch or, yeah, or with yeah, dinner. And, yeah. yep. You know, people are too busy. If it doesn't remind me on my iPhone, I'm not going to remember to do it. You know, I want yep. one a day. It's, it's, it's one. You want one, 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 one. Yeah. one. one and uh, solve your one and uh, problem. Yeah. One and done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I've already started my daughter, you know, with because um, she has to take allergy medicine. Yeah. And we're giving her chewable ones, but it just wasn't, they weren't working as well. So we switched to um, pills. Right. Yeah. So I just pour. She pours water in her mouth. They say, tilt your head back, throw the pill in, and swallow, well, and then she's done. Try, she tries yep. the, try, try the lovely water. water. Yeah. And ours are our kids' vitamins. Um, they're called Perfect Kids, and uh-huh. we would call them Immune Kids. Mm-hmm. And they're they're little bitty tablets. They're not big. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, you just say, watch mommy or yeah, daddy, yeah, yeah, and, and you swallow yours. And yeah. If you take it with bubbly water, like I said. You'll never know. It The bubbles trick the mechanism, and your everything opens up. Easy to swallow. Nice, nice. So we have some products here in front of us. Um, so did you? Just, so we have like the fifty plus. Um, we have the the men and women's triple power. So those are the super potent, going to make you feel better, stronger bones, stronger immune system. Twenty three times stronger than the leading, the most well known brand. And then we also have here uh, vegan and, 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 and perfectly and safe. Perfectly and perfectly safe. safe. Perfectly safe. Yeah. Well, that's the point. Uh, yeah. You yeah. know, to be safe. Yeah, and uh, you can take it and not worry that you're going to be. Well, because people mm-hmm. are not smart about some things. Yeah, like it, yeah. that's why they don't have like potassium tablets that you can just get at the store. Because mm-hmm. people are going to overdose on <laughs> potassium, <laughs> and that'll be the end of it. So um, the Heart Smart, I want to talk about this. Yeah, um, you mentioned this earlier. So you have a vegan version here. We have a vegan version because we we've got you know there's a lot, especially in in the natural food stores. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, people who don't want any animal products, and yeah. so we have. A special form of vitamin D that's made from lichen, uh-huh. where most vitamin D is comes from lanolin from sheared sheep's wool. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's not, oh. it's not, there's nothing wrong with it, but people who are vegan are really yeah. particular. Yeah, yeah they so don't we have want two versions. Products. The the um, regular version mm-hmm. um, is is also you know very clean and natural. Mm-hmm. Um, they're delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, berry, delicious. They're, they're, that's the thing. <laughs> so these you can not, chew these them. These are not tablets. <laughs> these are berry-flavored chewables. Oh, that okay. You, and they don't have mouth. added sugar and stuff? No. Well, the thing is, we use a special sweetener uh-huh. called D-ribose mm-hmm. that actually, in in high amounts, you know, we only have a little bit to, to give the, the sweetness. sweetness a little bit. Mm-hmm. In high amounts... Um, they give it to athletes, and they have way better endurance uh-huh. because it actually feeds cellular ATP. It's mm-hmm. the bottom line fuel your cells run on. Mm-hmm. So it's not a sugar sugar. Yeah, it's not the actually sugar in high doses. It doesn't, doesn't it doesn't raise blood sugar. Yeah. Really? Yeah, but it tastes sweet like sugar. So we yeah. put it in. We put organic blueberry flavor. Wow. Natural wild berry flavor, and it. There's no aftertaste. Yeah. Taste, and people go, "Oh my God, 
I wanted yeah. to put a thing on the label that said, caution, you better <laughs> reach your children. They, yeah, might, yeah, the, yeah. they yeah. might eat the whole bottle. Yeah. Well, we have to finish up here, but I, um, another thing that's said on your website is you can't buy them directly from the website, but you can put in your zip code. Yeah, or your, and, yeah, and, and find, stores. find a retailer. And yeah, yeah, they'll be all over the place yeah. and just about everywhere you can think of. Yeah, and then there's also on your website, they have you have a list of people you can order them through the mail. If, if you, if oh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's can you find them in uh, Whole Food or uh, yeah, you, okay. they're, they're, so they're you're just on. appearing, they're just starting to the, appear that's in January. A big market. Yeah. And so you can go to you know Whole Foods or Walgreens yeah. or you know they're going to be all over the place. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, you know. good. Well, we've been here with uh, Michael Mooney. Michael, why don't you take a, a quick minute to pitch your tell people where they can find you and they can find uh, the websites they can find this on. Yeah, supernutritionusa.com mm-hmm. is where you find, you know, the information. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it'll lead you right to, we have a micro site that talks about HeartSmart. Mm-hmm. Um, that, you know, it sort of gives you the background science of this these three nutrients that are balanced in a special way mm-hmm. to help calcium go where it's supposed to go in the body. And so it helps strengthen bones and then keep calcium balance Mm -hmm. you know in the body Mm -hmm. and americans are grossly deficient in the one of the key nutrients in your special form of vitamin k2 Mm -hmm. that americans are just barely getting familiar with vitamin k2 is what it was is this uh, age specific uh, to take this for heart smart or any not not really even kids could take it and it's still in the safe range It's just I say, you know, be careful, keep it out of, out of range because they can eat the whole bottle. They <laughs> taste, they taste so good. Yeah, that's great. As always, keep all medicine out of the reach of children. This is not medicine, vitamins. Vitamins. Well, yeah. I mean, vitamins. If it comes in a bottle, you kind of want to. Keep well, there's it no good. iron, so it's there's not that kind of problem. Oh, okay, well that's yeah. good. All right, well we've been here with Mr. Mooney, and we will see you after the break. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Welcome back! Yes! That's all the bison meat. Yeah, our second half of the show. Dr. David Friedman is back with us today. Last time we had him here, we spoke about Ebola and this uh, new testing and machine yep. he was he He's was, uh, was developing and working on. Yeah. Welcome to the show, David. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just give us a quick recap on your background. Um, so the people who weren't. Sure. Nice enough to go back and watch our other videos. Okay. Uh, well, so I have a doctorate in electrical engineering, and I've been working at Boston University for uh, too long, maybe 10 <laughs> years. Uh, and I recently formed a company to, to commercialize this product that we're talking about. Nice. And the product is? Uh... It's a platform for detecting different pathogens mm-hmm. or DNA, looking yeah. at genomic markers. It's, it's basically a very novel biosensor. Okay, and right. it's uh, the this the company is Next Generase. That's correct, Next Generase. Um, and when we had you on last time, you were saying that uh, we were speaking specific about specifically about Ebola because that was what was happening at the, the time. hottest on the news. Um, and you were doing Ebola research, and that's kind of where this Next Generase came from. Before there was a huge outbreak in the U.S. and all over the world, and now you've taken. Um, kind of that path but now you've expanded now you're you're not ebola specific anymore you are um a bunch of different diseases that's that's correct i mean in august i think we talked in august or september around yeah, that time yeah, frame sometime. and around then there was the couple of cases we had in the u.s so everyone was obviously freaking out <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. you definitely don't want to get ebola yeah but uh yeah. yeah so since then we've been looking at a lot of different applications i mean currently we're developing an ebola panel so not just a tex ebola but other hemorrhagic fevers 
So the idea is that you can take a drop of blood and you can look for many different things at the same time. Okay. Yeah. And right. it's uh, uh, how long does your test take to give results? Uh, so right now it takes a little under an hour, but our target goal is less than 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's not a Ebola specific? Yeah. That's any no, that would be for yeah. a number of tests. Okay. Yeah. Right. And and as we continue to develop our system, we can add more, more tests. So mm -hmm. we can even look for influenza yeah. or, I mean, Diseases commonly associated with Ebola or the symptoms are the same. Malaria is is almost identical clinically for the mm -hmm. first few days. Oh. So looking for something like that would be very valuable. Yeah. Great. Now a question. Uh, I know uh, we kind of put uh, HIV on the back burner, but in your, in Africa it's a major issue. Is this machine can detect that uh, type of? I I think theoretically we could. We've never actually looked at it because there's a lot of good technologies uh, looking at e e uh, sorry HIV. Uh -huh. So, but theoretically, I think we could. Uh -huh. I don't see any reason okay. why we can't. Well, I like that. Um, you know, the first show we were on, we had you on. We said you were a few years before Ebola was even. In yeah, the we've been working so, yeah. on it for you three or four years. And yeah. Now you're, um, you just. Okay, we've we've kind of got that. Now we're gonna continue with that, but expand it to a bigger. Yeah, room. we're gonna so continue not, to expand it. Yeah, that's right. And I like that uh, you're not just focusing on the one thing that can make you money now, but you're actually concerned and, and trying to make something that's gonna help people solving bigger for years. problem, bigger and, uh, problems, yeah. more, or more problems, problems than yeah. just one. That's yeah. right. Which is really that's nice. Right. Which is really thank you. That's really good. Um, so. Uh, um, well, actually, he's uh, here today. It's not. Oh yeah. Yeah. T uh, talk about that because I was going to yeah. jump onto the next question <laughs> I had, but no. Uh, you can answer, uh, ask, uh, ask uh, the question after. But he's actually on uh, his way to the Consumer Electronics Show, mm -hmm. and uh, is, did you guys going to have a booth in there? So we're sharing a booth with the National Science Foundation at the Eureka Park, which yeah. is oh. I, I'm very exciting. It's it's hardware startups that are I believe it's hardware startups only, but that are forming a product and putting it on the market. So they're not quite, they're sort of at the level where I am. We're incubating, we have a product, yeah. but mm -hmm. we're, we're not actually selling anything currently. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I think that, so Eureka Park, I mean, CES is going to be huge. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, I was Absolutely. reading today that there's not enough hotels for the number oh, of people yeah. that are going to oh, yeah. be there. CES So it'll be crazy. intense, I think. Well, I'm taking the SUV, so yeah, we can yeah, sleep in it. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. You guys are driving to yeah. Vegas together. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't keep all those vials and test yeah, tubes I'll keep them safe. sealed. Yeah, keep them sealed. I need Avi back. Okay? I promise. Um, so what about these drugs like ZMAP? Um, ZMAP. Oh yeah. So ZMAP is a very it's it's very interesting. So ZMAP I think is a company somewhere. In, oh, I wish I remember where in California. Mm -hmm. They're developing uh, anti their antibodies that mm -hmm. basically you. It's kind of like a vaccination, but it's really therapeutic. Mm -hmm. So it goes in your body and it. It tricks your immune system. I mean, this tricks is a funny word. Your immune system doesn't respond naturally, and so by taking ZMAP, uh, your body starts attacking the virus, right? So the immune yeah. system, it recruits all the cells that you need the for your immune cells system. Yeah. to fight the... It's, and it's really an amazing thing because they're growing it with tobacco leaves. Which what? Is, yeah, I mean, that's the part <laughs> yeah. that's pretty far out there, but uh, yeah. it's amazing. So they can mass produce it, and mm -hmm. it, it does take some time. So I know they had some ZMAP originally, and then... Essentially, mm -hmm. the crops are yeah. are extinguished, and they mm -hmm. need to make more, and it takes a few months to grow mm -hmm. grow the oh, leaves. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so now yeah, you don't have to smoke yeah. it; you just take it. <laughs> that was a. Uh, <laughs> I don't think smoking it would be very. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know. You're gonna have <laughs> Ebola and cancer. Yeah, That's there you right. go. Um, no, that was a then question. You, I, then you get marijuana to solve your. There problem. you go. <laughs> and the circle of life is complete. <laughs> yeah. No, I asked that question because, and I know that. Um, I ask that question just because I want people to see that, you know, you're not just flying by the seat of your pants. I mean, you know this stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty familiar. You're I mean, we, we're versed. spending a long time on this, and, I, you know, I've read up as many papers as I can. Mm -hmm. I have not been to Africa, uh, mm -hmm. so I'm not a, a resident expert, yeah, but yeah. I've talked to many people who have, and so I have a good – I like to think I have a good understanding of what's going on and, yeah. how, and what needs to be – what they really need to solve their problems. Yeah. I mean, for example, the tests that they're doing right now, what they call PCR tests, these mm -hmm. are very, very sensitive tests, a little bit better than ours in terms of their detection limits. Mm -hmm. But they're having trouble translating out of the lab. And you mm -hmm. can imagine in Africa, 
there's there's a mm-hmm. lack of resources in Not terms too many of labs having around. labs close to or where people, people are getting sick. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. traveling. So yeah. they'll take the blood, and it can take one to two to three days to get, get, get to the lab, them. and then actually then get mm-hmm. the result back. Yeah. Yeah. So what they really need is what they call point of care test, exactly. something that's close to the patient. Mm-hmm. So yeah. and that and that's sort of what we're working on, yeah. and some other companies. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, so, you know, you're one of the few companies working on a test for that can help people with everything. So like you, that's right. We were just talking before we started the segment, and you said uh, malaria for the first few days has very clinically has very similar symptoms. Yeah, and I mean even now with the outbreak in West Africa, more people are dying of malaria than Ebola. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. so Every it's day. it's really and and it's very important to to get the right diagnosis because exactly. either you take if there's ZMAP or mm-hmm. an equivalent drug available, you want to give them that, or mm-hmm. if it's malaria, you want to give them anti-malaria yeah. pills. Exactly. Yeah, and so. you don't want to. If it's malaria, you don't want to give them Z-Map. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Especially your in test short will, supply, yeah. Yeah, your test will aid in that. And uh, so if they said, oh, well, we want to – if they have your test, your machine, and they say we want to test and see what this is, they can put it in, and they're not just going to get, oh, well, it's definitely not Ebola, but we don't know what it is. Exactly, yeah. 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 That's really and I think beneficial. that's yeah. – it's very useful. Yeah. yeah. And that's where the, the market is heading in the – the, the technology is moving that mm-hmm. direction. Portability and uh, diversity rather than one machine for one type of That's exactly, right. That's exactly. right. Exactly. But your company, you were talking about Eureka Park and uh, you said incubator. You're not only developing the software, you're developing the hardware to go with the software. So you're not relying on a second mm-hmm. uh, part of the, the the equation to get yes. it done. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we're building the whole system right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ideally, we'd like to partner with some manufacturers on getting the reagents oh, yeah, yeah. for Absolutely. it and for distribution and those things. But mm-hmm. we're building the technology from the ground up. Yeah. Oh, Wait, you okay. mean you're not going to build each system by hand? Yourself. I am now. But, uh, <laughs> I hope someday that yeah. I have some help in that. Yeah. yeah, well, the system that you've showed us is portable. doesn't need a power source. It just plugs right into a computer. I and that. I don't know if we'll be able to get this on camera, but we have one it right here. That's right. And I don't know if we'll be able to fire it up, but I just want to show people how... Oh, yeah. How portable sure, it really sure. Is. And I, I'll just quickly clarify: it, it does need a power source still, but it could run off a battery. So, oh, there you go. so right now we're going to run it off the computer. Okay. Do you have the USB cable? Yeah, on the right here. So we have a, this is the system. That's right. That's You're going to plug it into into a laptop. Into a laptop. A Surface Microsoft Surface Microsoft Three. Surface just picked up one, so we yeah. can plug it in. Mm-hmm. Let me. Um, and I don't think we have time to actually run through it, but yeah, just we'll just show. Yeah. So yeah, so this is our second generation instrument, uh, and and what you do is we we put the chips into this little hole right here, mm-hmm. and then you would push that button, and then wait a few minutes, and then out on the computer it'll spit out the results, and it's actually quantitative too. It tells you how many viruses are in your yeah. blood, rel- relatively speaking. Yeah. So yeah. Wow, and this is it. I mean, we have a a tablet and a, a, the machine. Yep, that's right. And it's running off battery power, bam, boom, that simple. This is what people need. That's right. It's exactly what people need. All right, I'm going to, you guys finish up talking, I'm going to read you. And, and what, what okay. is uh, the cost of something like this when you are ready? It, what cost you to build it right now? Uh, it costs uh, as much as a uh, economy car right uh-huh. now to build. Yeah. Um, and ideally, I need to uh, survive and build my company up, so I sell yeah. it for a bit more. Um, of course. But... In the long term, we hope to get this below five thousand dollars in terms of its sale price, and then wow. and then the depending on the number of t- tests that we're going to have on each chip, mm-hmm. we would like to have it somewhere in the order of a dollar to thirty dollars. I mean, per sales test. price. Per I mean, up to one hundred fifty dollars for some very complicated tests, but mm-hmm. it really will depend on what you're looking for. So, so for simplification and uh, ease of use. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and ultimately, you are looking even to shrink this uh, to a smaller. Uh, Package. That's right. We're we're continuing to miniaturize it, and ideally, at some point, we like to have it handheld. Yeah, that will be the oh, uh, just an add-on for the iPhone. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's and actually what we're one. working on. So I yeah. have, I have some um, some of my engineers working on uh, making it so that you access it through a tablet. So everything is kind of Very the way cool. you're, you're yeah. talking about. So that is awesome. That's where we're moving. Well, you better move fast. Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Better move. People need you. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> I'm doing my best. Yeah. So besides. C- Getting a ticket right now to go to CES and see you this weekend or this week. How else can people find out about this? Maybe help fund or um, you well, know, anybody who wants to help, how can they? I'd help? encourage them to go to the website, mm-hmm. NGA 
bio.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they can give me a call or they email me or text me, however you want. Mm -hmm. uh, where we're located in Boston, uh, incubating in one of the uh, incubating space at Boston University. Mm -hmm. So, and we're, we're hoping to move to Cambridge soon uh, into the biotech hub and start getting some real talent on our team. And yeah. that's kind of where we're Is moving. Is all your information on your website? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So people can literally call you. They can literally call me. Okay. <laughs> okay. And they literally should. Yeah, yeah that, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Call, speak to the doctor. This is yeah. the only doctor we've ever had on the show, right? Direct line. Yeah, yeah direct line to the Not doctor. a real doctor, but Dr. Friedman, that's right. <laughs> no, you're a well, doctor. Well, not an MD doctor. Yeah, yeah, not an that's MD right. That's right. doctor. There we yeah, go. smart. He's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Smart that's all doctor. Smart, smart is doctor. relative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of school is what yeah. I'd say. <laughs> a lot of homework. He yeah. used to do his homework on the bus before he gets home, and you ask him, where's what did... Don't you have a homework? Oh, yeah, no, I did I'm it done. on the way. Oh, man. <laughs> That's smart. Now I have more time. <laughs> um, and then I know that this question is going to come up because it always does when we have certain people on the show. Are you married? I am married. Sorry, ladies. Happily married, so. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. It, there's, Too late. Yep, I'm taking two, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry. So, well, that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us and coming back on the show. We appreciate it. It was awesome. I'm glad we got to finally show these people. Go to the website. Website one more time. NGABio.com. NGABio.com. Yes. Contact him if you want to help in any way. Um, they get, are looking for going. funding. They're, They're looking, looking for funding. to grow it and deliver it to market yeah. faster. Advertising, and, and I know that... Um, and some good engineers, yeah. too. This is the future. Instead of uh, keep sending yeah. drugs mm -hmm. uh, to their own people, exactly. here it is. You can find the drugs who, that you need to send. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and give so, them the right drugs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I fooled you. You thought I was sleeping. I wasn't sleeping. That's how good of an actor I am. Call me. Call my agent. I don't have one. We Sign are. Me up. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> welcome back to the show. We just had Dr. David Friedman on talking about his uh, testing device. And earlier we had Michael Mooney on talking about his With, uh, Super health. Nutrition USA. So you get sick, you see Dr. David, you mm -hmm. want to be healthy, you see Dr. Uh, professor Mooney or whatever. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we'll just call him the <laughs> professor. Yeah. Um, well, we're back. We're going to finish up our show. We're going to wrap up. we got about 15 minutes left. Yes. So, Avi. Yes, sir. I want to hear about these fingerprint-stealing bastards. Yeah. I, yeah. But they, when uh, Sony got hacked, everybody, oh, they got into the system and this and that, which is true. But uh, you don't, they don't need to get into the system. They can take a picture of your hand from any ordinary picture, and guess what? They can replicate your fingerprints and get into your Apple Pay or your iPhone. Or uh, So I thought at one time, if you have the Apple Pay, you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> well, Nothing is safe these days. Uh, if it's on a computer, it's not safe anymore. Uh, that's it. That's it. So but let's clarify a little bit. Yeah. So this prime minister, Germany, something yeah, like that? Yeah, some uh, uh, government official in Germany, yeah. she was giving a speech. And, and she went like this. Yes, and somebody took uh, the picture, zoomed it, zoomed to her fingerprints, and replicated them with a copy, then made uh, some kind of a, like a, 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 a mold mm -hmm. and put it on the iPhone and opened the iPhone with her <laughs> fingerprints. That's the biggest load of crap yeah. I've ever heard. No, it's... That's like some secret TV. spy Mission Impossible stuff. They showed it on TV and the guy said, uh, we thought that it's safe. The only safe, it's a retina... Uh, what we have in here. The uh, retina scanner? The retina scanning. <laughs> because it's difficult to uh, replicate the yeah. veins in your... and the, the mm -hmm. eyes. Well, uh, I think if there's one thing that we have learned over the last few years with all of this... Yeah. Easy pay, you know, you have the, the near field communication, yeah, yeah, Apple Pay, thumbprint yeah. scan. 
Stop putting stuff on your phones. Yeah, it's, it's especially they're gonna stuff get, that... <laughs> they're going to get your credit cards. They're going to get those naked pictures you yep. thought nobody would see. Yep. They're going to get all of your information. You know, the Pentagon spends billions of dollars to keep things secure, and mm -hmm. they get hacked hundreds of millions of dollars uh, times a day yeah and they have the biggest baddest system on the planet so mm -hmm. you think with your weak ass uh, password you yeah. got to protect if they yeah. want you they got you but it's password <laughs> with a capital p yes no wrong <laughs> wrong or password one two three yeah yeah exactly <laughs> no i mean look if it's on your phone it's yeah. it's you yeah. might as well I mean, look yeah. at target yeah the guy swiped a fake credit card mm -hmm. into their machine and got yep. everybody's credit yep. card numbers. Yep. You're never yep. nothing safe. And I saw a thing where um, this guy showed how you could. There's a like a, a FLIR infrared attachment you can get for yep. like, the iPhone. Uh -huh. And yep. you you go after somebody uh, keyed in yeah, there and you, and you see the heat uh, the heat on the pin number. Yeah, from the and finger. You, yeah, uh -huh. and that's it. You yep. got it. And you get their code. Look, so don't be an idiot. Yep. Stop being idiots, people. <laughs> My God, quit it. Don't okay. believe it. If it's, Don't believe digi it's digitized, it's not secure. It's, your, your whole life is insecure. Yes. I'm insecure <laughs> right now. Uh, that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's, a, that's, our, that's our, what is it, public service announcement. Yes. Stop putting stuff on your phone and on your cloud that you don't want people to find because if it's If you don't come want out. it found, don't put it on the yeah. cloud or on any uh, electronic mm -hmm. device. Yeah. That's it. And then uh, today starts uh, the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. They don't mm -hmm. want you to call it CES. They want you to call it International CES. Oh. Yes, Ooh. international. However... Uh, the biggest things mm -hmm. there, it's uh, 4K television and what have you, mm -hmm. but don't go rush to buy them. They said mm -hmm. the specs on it is not defined yet till mm -hmm. the end of the year. Yeah. But more importantly, a lot of uh, home automation. Guess what? If it's automated, it's going it's to be Wi-Fi. Yeah. The guy sits <laughs> on the outside, can pick yeah. all your codes and all exactly. your questions. <laughs> well, that's what I saw. Um, we were talking about, I think, the garage door opener. Uh -huh. Smart garage door opener. Mm -hmm. Open and close from anywhere. Yep. I don't care what password you have on it. It's hackable. Yep. Yep. And you don't need much. I mean, they showed it over and over. A guy with a laptop knows what he's doing, mm -hmm. can sit outside your house and pick up your Wi-Fi signal mm -hmm. for every device you have in your home. Yeah. They are actually, even the smart cars that they have, autonomous cars, yeah. can be hacked. Oh, your geez. car today can be hacked because it has some electronics in it, and it uh, somebody can drive next to you and take control of your car, make your gauge look like it's uh, on empty, yeah. or may change the speed. Because Stop telling people they can do that. Yeah. I don't yeah. think they knew they could do that. They showed it on TV. The guy was driving next door, and the guy oh, sitting God. there driving 30 miles an hour, yeah. and his speedometer showing 100 miles an hour. Then he was driving 50, and the speedometer showed showing zero and then they showed the tank the gas tank was full it showed it empty with the guy sitting in the other car hacking into it and changing the the information on it so that's insanity yep yep so be careful people <laughs> my god we're we're a we're a society that relies heavily on electronics and yeah. and fast information and digital information it's coming back to bite uh, us north korea is not the stupid <laughs> yeah no, they don't have electricity well they are stupid they are, but they are smarter than us. They do, there's nothing to hack there. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't think that's by choice of the people, though. <laughs> no. Um, speaking of North Korea, yes. did you watch the interview? Yes, it took us like about four hours because we watched it on Xbox, and that night they hacked the Xbox. Oh, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, you yeah. You can hack it back yeah. to the hacking. You can hack anything. Um, what did yeah. you think of the movie? It's stupid. It's of course. Fun. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, but yeah. that's the idea behind it. Exactly. But these people are morons. It's the same thing like in the Middle East. You can't make fun of uh, the prophet. Yeah, Muhammad. They go, they go the same weird yeah. crazy on you. Yeah. When you just say one word, yeah. it doesn't have to be derogatory or anything. Yeah. They freak out. And that's the same thing. They idolize this guy like he's God. Mm -hmm. And some of the information that we're talking in the movie, mm -hmm. that's what the people believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, <laughs> you're telling me my man doesn't pee or poo? Yeah. Yeah. That, well, they believe that, for real. Uh, but um, they have the, He has a reverse osmosis system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I watched it, too. I thought, you know, 
I thought it was funny. I enjoyed it. It was entertaining until yeah. about, you know, like with all those movies, like um, what was the other one they did where it was the end of the world? Um, this is this is it or this is the end. Something. Yeah. Anyways, there was one where they were the end of the world, and um, it was funny too until until the action starts picking up and they start doing that stuff. Then it's kind of like. <laughs> it's not as funny anymore, and yeah, the the, yeah. the movie loses some yeah. of its flavor. But yeah. I don't know what the North Koreans or what Kim Jong Un was so mad about. I mean, I thought it was a good movie. It was well, he didn't because it was about him. How stupid he was. Yeah, right? well, I mean, it didn't make the Americans look that much smarter. <laughs> so I thought it was. I, I don't know. If you haven't seen it, go see it. I think um, great marketing. Technique don't go see Sony. it. Download it. It's cheaper. Yeah, so if you have it, yeah. three, four people for five bucks, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was available on iTunes. The yeah, first day. iTunes, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, mm -hmm. even on YouTube and Google uh, uh, Google Play. So yeah. it was widely uh, available. Yeah. But in the first day, we watched it the first day. That's when I hacked up, uh, hacked the Xbox mm -hmm. and uh, the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. And the show will start, and 10 minutes yeah. later, it starts uh, My cousin buffering. got a play PlayStation 4 for his yeah. children. Yeah, and he couldn't... As soon as I went to go set it up for the whole day, it was like you, yeah. you couldn't set it up. Yeah. Um, but it got resolved. Yeah. But you know who should have been watching the interview? Who? The people in Abu Dhabi who was, <laughs> had to sit for 12. They could have played that for them. Hours. Yeah. 12 hours. On the plane. On yeah. the plane, on the tarmac. Yeah. Because the airport was too crowded. And they kept telling them it's going. they're going to leave so shortly. They, and they kept. Oh, well, that's what that. they say. Yeah. Oh, we're going to leave in 15 minutes. Yeah. They did it to us because we were um, about an hour late leaving Seattle to fly into Juneau. Yeah. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I went to Alaska to visit family this, uh, this, this holiday. holiday season. And to shoot bison. I didn't shoot a bison. I just helped unload the meat. <laughs> 512 pounds of bison, bison meat. Bison meat. Oh, man, that stuff is delicious, too. I heard you got half of it in uh, your house. No, no, I got, I got two things of bison hamburger. And it, oh, it's so good. But a bunch of fish. I'll bring you some fish tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so 12 hours, and they kept putting them off and putting them off, saying that they couldn't. And the, the stewardesses are, or the, the flight attendants, sorry, are arguing with the passengers. Yep. The passengers are arguing with the flight attendants. And I mean, I can just no imagine. No food, them no water, nothing. For 12 yeah. hours. Mm -hmm. How do I don't. Airlines, they just do whatever the hell they want. Well, they don't have the rules we have in our country. If they sh left, left yeah. you in the plane here for longer than two hours, they have to take you to back, or they will be fine. Well, it wasn't always like that. Remember, a few yeah. years ago, they yeah. did, they had we had the same problem yeah. here. Yeah, uh, JetBlue, they left the people mm -hmm. for like 12, 10 hours or yeah. whatever. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, the smell, the, the uh -huh. and the the sometimes when they're just sitting there, you know, they don't turn the, the yeah, air the, on, the, so it gets hot support. as hell. Uh -huh. Oh man, yeah. I couldn't do it. Um, and more travel-related news from this holiday season. Yes. Uh, Air Asia crash. They had, they believe it crashed. It just disappeared. Weather. Yeah, Not weather. disappear, but weather. They yeah. Think more and more, it's Took weather. It down. Yeah. It's the same thing what happened probably to Air France uh, a couple of years back. Mm -hmm. uh, and the pilot, the poor pilot, he asked to to change route and go higher, and they denied that. And oh. literally right after that, he, they went down. Yeah. And. There, uh, the monsoon and all this, the weather mm -hmm. pattern changes so fast. They said that certain level, the temperature was like 120 below zero from the downdraft coming down. So oh, some yeah. equipment, and then it could be wind shear, mm -hmm. and where the wind direction changes, first you have the updraft and mm -hmm. then downdraft. Drops, yeah. And uh, if you get caught in it, it will push you all the way down. Yeah, you're done. I yeah. Mean, You'd be lucky to pull so out of that. So it's unlike the Malaysian Air uh, yeah. Flight 370. This one actually... <laughs> weather, weather. Not <laughs> weather, operator. I, yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't the guy took a ride and yeah. left it on autopilot. Yeah. I was reading, though, that there are um, there were like 40 people from the same Christian church yeah. Yeah. on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> that they And they said there was no reason for all of them to be on the plane together. And they went on vacation. Together. They were on vacation. Yeah. They were going on vacation. Um, and then there was another crash, a small aircraft crash here in, in Kentucky. America. Kentucky, uh-huh, yeah. And a seven-year-old girl survived. Yep. Walked through the dark, cold woods in the middle Qu of the night. Three-quarter mile, total darkness in barefoot. wooded area, barefoot, yeah. and almost a uh, freezing temperature. It sounds like one of those uh, stories your grandfather tells you, you know, when you complain <laughs> about something, he says, oh, I walked uphill both <laughs> ways to school in, yeah, you know, neck-deep snow. Yeah. But this girl... I mean, that's the one injured, of the injured, yeah. broken wrist. Yeah. Seven years old. I yeah. know, you know, 30 year old men who would have a broken finger and, and they won't even they play basketball for a yeah. million dollars. Yeah. 
and this seven-year-old girl with a broken wrist. Yeah, and to have the 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 consciousness to mm -hmm. to to walk toward mm -hmm. the lights because if she walked any other mm -hmm. direction, she will be still walking. That's a smart girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, she lost her parents in that crash. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, they did a great job because she. She, she I guess the father is, was a uh, 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 pilot instructor, and mm -hmm. he was training them and explaining to them and what have you. And when the plane flipped, uh, for some reason, her door or where she was, she was able to crawl out mm -hmm. and walk. And I don't know how, in the total darkness, to look and see the light three-quarter mile and just walk through it with a ditch and all yeah. the obstacles. I mean, that's an incredible... I mean, that is an incredible story. Yes. I mean, that's like movie... Movie type. Movie type yeah, stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's... It's unheard of, you know? I mean, we had a couple years ago the guy who landed in the New York River or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, Solly Solenberger. He landed the plane yeah. on the water, yeah. which was like unheard of even though they tell you, you know, get your life preserved. Yeah. But now, to for this girl... Seven years old, probably yep. just had the most traumatic experience of her life. Yep. And to, she had, to make uh, it and be able to take people back yep. to the crash. Um, yep. It's just unbelievable story. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, I don't believe in, uh, in angels and this and that. Mm -hmm. And if the angels were there, why they let go of the family, the mm -hmm. rest of the family. Yeah. But I think her uh, determination and will to mm -hmm. live. And yeah. to focus that there is a light and I have to get mm -hmm. to it. That's yeah. amazing. I mean, at a certain point, survival instincts kick in. Yes. And but she's adrenaline. seven. Yeah. Well, even seven, I mean, uh, when your life is uh, in a jeopardy or yeah. you're in flight and flight, uh, fight or flight mo yeah. mode, you don't think yeah. and you just well, she She's a tough little girl because she went right into fight mode. Yeah. A lot of kids would curl up and cry. Yeah. But she... Uh, unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. I can't wait to see that movie. <laughs> okay. I cannot wait to see that. It's going to be a movie. I'm telling you. I'm going on record right now. It's going to be a movie. How could it not be? And if it, if it's not, I'm going to make it. And I'll make it a movie. <laughs> well, we'd like to thank everybody that we're at the end of the show, Avi. Yes. We'd like to thank our guests that we had on today, Michael Mooney, Dr. David Freeman. Yes. Uh, we'd like to thank OC Digital Studio for allowing us to come in and do another fantastic show with yeah, their great crew. And we, Miera is coming up with a new show, Pacific. Oh, yeah. Show. Keep an eye out yeah. for that. Pacific. Miera, our coordinator here, who does an awesome job, kicks butt every day like it's uh, her last day on earth. She is going to have her own show called Pac Pacific Spotlight. Pacific Spotlight. She's going to go around to places here in, in Orange County, uh, businesses and uh, locations. Entertainment right? places, Entertainment, fashion. Restaurants. Yeah. Um, and highlight uh, those places so you can yeah. have the places to go, play, be places to be with, mm -hmm. and shop and yeah. enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's basically like uh, you know she's going to be the Robin Leach of Orange County. That's I don't know it. if you guys remember who Robin <laughs> Leach is, but lifestyles of the rich and famous. That's going to be mirror. Uh, yeah, whatever. champagne wishes and caviar dreams. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. Um, I'd like to thank our crew. Yes. Alec. Greg. Yes. Mier is in there right now. Carl. Helping out. Carl, as always. Um, and, you know, again, if you have any issues with the audio, See contact Abby. Steven. <laughs> okay? All right, guys. Well, that's it for the show. Avi, great show as always. Thank you, Thank you to Thank our you. guests. OCDigital.com, and you can check us out, YouTube and Facebook and iTunes. OCDigitalStudio.com. OCDigitalStudio.com, and we'll be on Plug In Pod TV. Yep. See you later. Peace out. Okay.